Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rams Astro Unboxes and I am Rams Astro and today we are unboxing a WWE Elite Collection Wrestlemania Goldberg So, picked this up in the local B&M recently was, I'm not too big a fan of Goldberg, but I wouldn't. I really wanted one in the same scale as the rest of my collection. And the fact that it came with a belt was a high bonus. It was a bonus. I'm going to say it's probably about 50% of the reason I chose him. The other reason was what I said before. I kind of wanted one in the same scale. And my son really wants his action figures to beat up Goldberg after his treatment of The Fiend last year. Or was it the year before? I do not remember. Time has been a bit iffy recently, since March 2020. Not sure why. Anyway, so let's have a look at this packaging. So, yep, yeah, we've got Goldberg in here. It's like modern day Goldberg. So he is looking the same, but older, with grey beards. Just over there's that belt. It's the SmackDown Universal title, as you can see from the blue. And you get a couple extra hands, and you get a head for this character that you can build if you buy the full series. His name is escaping me right now. Paul, Paul something. And then we've got a photo of Goldberg, Mattel Goldberg. On the side you've got a nice, it's the exact same picture of Goldberg. On this side you've got him carrying said belt, which makes sense since he comes with it. On the back we've got the usual UK nonsense where there's no information other than it's Goldberg and it's from a WrestleMania line. But you can see the other figures in the series we can get. We can get the eighth, the ninth wonder of the world, China, and an outfit that I'm not a big fan of. So that that action figure will probably be skipped. We've got Edge from his WrestleMania. I'm pretty sure it's when he fought Mick Foley. Shawn Michaels. It's not the version of Shawn Michaels I would like. So the only one out of this whole set I really wanted was Goldberg for the belt. Although I do really want to build him. So he comes with a cool puppet. And I wouldn't, wouldn't mind having a manager character or some sort of authority figure character for my son when he does his WWE storylines. So, let's get this bad boy opened and we shall begin the review. Yeah, so they've got Goldberg out of the box. He is, I've posted him with his universal title, spare hands at his feet along with that head that comes with him. There was no stiff joints on him. There was a few loose joints which we'll get in a moment so the head as i said looks just like goldberg in his current years the exact same he's always looked just with a grayer beard than usual chest has that gray chest hair speckled all over it he's got that classic goldberg tattoo on his left shoulder which he's had since the attitude either back in wcw he's even got it printed on the back of his black and white trunks you just get some basic knee pads, elbow pads, and boots. It does the other hands that he comes with are the exact same gloves, just his grip is a lot wider, which I don't think I will use because then the figure won't be able to hold any weapons or what not. But overall, it looks good, but let's have a look at these loose joints. Now, they're not loose to the point they need fixed, other than one, it's just that they're not stiff. There was no stiffness from the box. It was playable instantly, other than his right arm, which was posed extremely weirdly in the box. I remember thinking, that doesn't look right. And as soon as it came out of the box, the right arm was left in the box. So I've got it on here. So as you can see, it just pops right off, pops back on, but it easily pops off, which is irritating to me. So I'm going to try and fix this with the hot water method, tighten up that rubber if this doesn't work i'm going to frantically be searching my bins for the receipt and go get it replaced but yeah other than that i'm really happy with this goldberg figure my son's going to have someone to beat up with we've got a new title belt that we can use in our stories and yeah it will look good on the shelf i think this is one of the few wcw alumni that i've I personally own as i've been over the years been trying to collect my favourite Attitude Era slash WWE modern wrestlers. So yeah, this was Bill Goldberg, so let's do our final thoughts. Yeah, so final thoughts to this figure is I'm really happy with it if I can get that arm fixed. If not, I'll be going back and I'll just replace it with another Goldberg figure that doesn't have the arm issue. 
otherwise yep that would be great so i recommend the figure as always i recommend all wrestling action figures i always recommend them but if you're new to the channel and you liked what you've seen i've got other wrestling figure videos i've got other videos and other action figures i do game reviews and if you like what you see please hit the like and subscribe button if you're if you're coming back to the channel and you've been here before thanks for coming back and as always don't forget have a good one